Hi guys, it's me with you again, your pal Harinath, and today we're going to do a. What's that sound? What in the world is this? Walks pretty slowly and going an opposite direction. Pretty silly. Uh, I'll help you there, pal. Don't worry. Anyway, I'm a little shaky, but I'm going to draw the black chap chickadee. Oh, I forgot my materials. One second, please. Right? I'm definitely missing something. Um, surprise! Oh, hi, little guy. I didn't say I was missing you. Okay, for starters, chickadees got very strong legs. This helped them find, I mean, grab onto the tree branches so they can even eat by hanging upside down. If you don't believe me, check yourselves. Anyway, the next fact. Chickadees are very fast. You can see that by when you see one only. Okay, eh? They're very fast, so oh, this helps them find more food. You know how oh, with the help of eh? I mean speed. So, oh, for example, a blue jay. It's also one bird that doesn't fly off the south when it, it's winter in the north. So oh, that bird got some food, there. I mean some um, yummy treats. And the chickadee wants it too, but the blue jay doesn't want him to eat his food. So oh, the chickadee flies away, but the chickadee comes back for the food and eat it. The uh, uh, chickadee gets its meal. Yum, yum. If I were a chickadee, I'll do that trick every day. But I can't eat seeds. Hmm, a shame. And even if chickadee is eat, eat it, sometimes they cache their food to eat for later. Meaning that they hide their food in one place, sir. Like a tree branch. Or somewhere with a tree branch with holes. Okay, when they hide their food, you think they'll forget where they put it? Now, our birdies, I mean, guys, they have a big brain, even though they're tiny birds. You can get fooled by that. They have a very big brain, I mean, very smart, intelligent creatures. So, I mean, birds. Hmm, I don't even get in the words. Okay. okay. These birds are very smart, so they can find their food where they hide it. That's called caching. Mm. Okay, the next fact. Now we really get to the part where the jay, I mean chickadee, gets food. I can't stop laughing with that part. Mm. I didn't laugh. But I'm getting confused with all these birds. Okay, anyway, now also woodpeckers don't want to fly off to oh, south when it's winter in the north. Hmm, I kind of like it in, in here. Hmm. Okay, let's get back to the video. So, let's say a woodpecker has dug a hole in one tree. That, that he got one in, in, in larva, inside larva. And gets that food. Mm, yeah. If I were a, a woodpecker with the, no human in personalities. Mm. And the chickadee he get, gets into uh, that hole and gets uh, another insect in larva. So you can say that the woodpecker is actually helping the chickadee find food. But even without the woodpecker noticing that is true or not. You get that mean. Okay, next is in late in the summer, the uh, chickadee grows a warm set of feathers. Very warm, cozy. And they have a very good trick about shaking their feathers up. That makes them cutely purples. Oh, so cute. Hmm, I can't even see. And the next fact. Wait, there is a next fact? Mm. Okay, now we are spreading the drawing part. 
Now I'm using some black for the tail and the wings. And some lines over here and some lines over there. Got it. Got it. And now I'll just get a line to make it the correct shape. Now I'm using a little bit gray to add a little shadows in front of it. I think this means that it'll be eaten with my mouth. Yeah, I'm coming in with all with gray. Looks good for a little bird. Hmm. For a little tiny bird. This much time. Hmm. I never heard of this thing. So now I'm using a highlighter to add some snow to the fur that I draw. Now I'm drawing some skin on it, but I'll add that color. Now I'm using some black to add more shade and a little bit of that highlighter code I mean highlighter <laughs> and now I'm drawing some black and adding some gray to it looks good for a little bird okay this part's pretty easy adding some lines and coloring the cherries mm -mm, cherries I don't never I eat cherries are they good or not? Now adding some cherries to the cherry tree. Or is it a holly tree? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, these are a lot of cherries. I wonder why I didn't eat cherries. Are they good or they're not? I wonder. <laughs> okay, you can see some white spots, but that's natural to happen because a little shine won't hurt anybody, right? <sighs> Cherries, 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 cherries. Oh, is it over with the cherry eel raid? Is it? Okay, now I'm taking some black to add some those cherries. A realistic three-dimensional look, maybe? Yeah, three-dimensional look. And one shadow, one shadow, another shadow there. And then... <laughs> I'm getting bored. And my hands are painting for one little bird only. But I got to keep on. This is a whole entire muscle chain. Good one. Okay, I'm adding some white to that to make it more look 3D dimensional. Now adding in that leaf, I mean branches, one brownie look. Brownie look, I like it. Now using highlighter to make some snow like it's on it. Some snow, because it's snowy, obviously. Okay, things to do. So I think that was enough for our video. And... And if you like it, give a thumbs up and I hope you draw the same chickadee. Not like this, but do it your own way. You can draw anything but other than cherries, like a pine cone or holly or any fruit you like. So, see you later, uh, guys. And I hope you have a good day in your lives and stay safe from Corona.